I have not heard any such complaint. Cassava is one of the basic staples of the people of the Rupununi. And that's a statement of fact. And so it cannot be used as if it is a meal that is demeaning in any way. I never said anything about the meal being I was being kind demeaning. To the member. But he doesn't have the I ability to, to interpret what I'm saying. Who? Okay. That's the first thing. All right, all right, no, all right. What ability you well, have? I don't remember. Minister. What a, what a Let us get a question. Let us get a question. Could the Honorable Minister Make say example, whether he would classify cassava bread and nut butter as hot meals? I, I, I am aware of the, the peanut butter and uh, cassava bread. Yes, sir. Because, as you said, it's one is part of this table, and yeah. secondly, the peanut butter is supposed to provide protein. Yeah. But I don't know if that, I would hope that that is not the only meal. The Honorable Minister must know that the residents are totally against it. Totally against it. And they want some variety. They want some, for, they want hot meals. That's what they say, they want hot meals to be cooked every day. This matter has been stirring in the air for the last three weeks. And a definitive statement could have been made a long time ago, but as I said, I am personally aware um, of it. I know this is stable. I know that um, the nut butter not only provides employment, the, the manufacturer, but there is some nutritional value. But um, one second, Minister. But we need to have it clarified. Well, this money here is not given to provide peanut butter and cassava bread to every student, as the honorable member mentioned. What I want to point out is that in the dorms, we are housing secondary school students. Secondary school students do not get this snack that the honorable member speaks of. The honorable member spoke of Karasabai somewhere and somewhere else. Those are not dorms. So we're talking about two different things. The dorms are not one of the dorms. No dorm exists in Karasabai. So clearly he's speaking, Honorable Basso Williams is speaking about a different thing from the children in the dorms. And I think we need to clear that up. What we are trying to find out, sir, what is the cost per child per day to feed them? Because they must have a figure, 200 for lunch, 300 for breakfast, 500 for dinner. And if we get that, then that would help us. Or we wouldn't have this big argument about biscuit and uh, you know, not butter or whatever. But you must be able to tell us Thank you very much, Minister. Honorable Member. Mr. Chair, I must thank the Honorable Minister of Education. She has addressed my question. You're ignorant. It is clear that the Minister who said I'm ignorant, I don't know, but I'm just LSD just on his plus others. The point I want to make to you or is that I'm not, talking, I'm not talking about dorms. I'm saying that the, in the residents in the villages, well, that, they're Mr. saying that that's the only meal that the kids get, and they don't want that. Mr. Chair, well, I don't think that comes under this minister. Yeah, Mr. Chair, the honorable member, I said to him that he was misguided. I, I he didn't follow like me. He sought to contest it. Indeed, he is out of order because 6292 is not relevant to his concerns. 